What's up, everybody? Philly Soccer Page post game show, first one of 2017. I am Mike Servideo here with Greg Orlandini. Union and Toronto FC play out a pretty entertaining 2 2 draw here in Town Energy Stadium. Very cold Town Energy Stadium, though we are nice and indoors and able to feel our hands again. Uh, Greg, thoughts on that one? Uh, should have been three points. You know, the Union had opportunities to make it three points. Alejandro Bedoya with the penalty miss when the Union was pretty much standing on uh, Toronto's neck at that point, really controlled the yeah. game as an opportunity to put it away. Goes to the other end, questionable call, penalty goes for Toronto, and they and they capitalize on it. It's 1-1 at the half. It really changed the complexion of the game. I agree. Um, going back to the Toronto penalty, we heard from Jim Curtin, didn't think it was a penalty. We heard from some of the guys in the room, thought Altador goes down a little bit soft on the, the free kick. You think it's a penalty? I, I don't know. I don't think so. And Jim talked about it in the press conference. The the league wants to come down hard on the clutching and the shirt pulling and the, and the box. And you see these things early when you know they put the ed these edicts out. They kind of all the refs want to show they're calling it. So he makes the call. I thought out the door went down pretty hard, pretty early. You know, I, I just at first glance, I want to look at it a few more times. First glance, I didn't think it was a penalty. Yeah, I, I, I I don't know. I, I, I haven't seen a good replay yet either, yeah. so uh, we'll, we'll try to look for that. Um, after a game last week in Vancouver where the chances were really at a premium, it's really nice to see the Union come out and get two goals and had the opportunity for, for a couple of more. And it's even better to see both strikers get on the on the score sheet. I, I think it's probably a little bit disappointing to see Jay Simpson come off injured and have to be replaced so early in the game. But good to see the strikers on the board. Yeah, Simpson I thought was really more in the flow of the game this week opposed to last week. Got the goal, obviously. I mean, it wasn't the prettiest goal in the world, but came out of hard work and, yeah. out, and, and making the most. Huh, what's that? Brave header. Yeah, brave header came out of the hard work and you know getting an opportunity and ball ball went in and he was more connected I think more in the flow of the game and then he goes out with an injury and but CJ comes in and has a really fine game gets a goal himself yeah. to, to tie the game up and uh, so it was great to see your two strikers get on the board even I, even with losing Jay I, th I thought CJ's goal was was terrific I think the the patience that Fabian Herber showed in the mm -hmm. midfield before he releases Sapong and then I think Sapong does really well to hold his run and then to, to get really into space and then he still has plenty to do there you mm -hmm. know he's got Clint Irwin coming right out on him takes a step around him and finishes into the empty net I thought that was really important for Sapong oh big goal and you know Clint Irwin's no slouch you know very good goalkeeper and Sapong like you said had a lot to do and got it done a really nice touch yeah Let's talk, let's talk about that Toronto second goal. Uh, they they win a, I think, questionable free kick kind of just inside the Union half, um, and then it just seems like the whole back line falls asleep, um, and that they're, they're able to, to convert from that left side. Well, they got to do better. I mean, I think <laughs> that, that's what it boils down to, and Jim Curtin said it, and he kind of shouldered some of the blame on that for, for kind of jawing at the ref, and the team kind of followed, was following his lead and wasn't really paying attention to the situation. But ultimately, it, it's the guys on the field. I mean, they have to kind of kind of step up a little more and play like that. I mean, you know, it was a nice goal by Morrow. You had a good touch to get it in. But, yeah, you, know, you had, you know, 10 guys out there just kind of weren't ready. I mean, we, we talked a little bit about Ali Bedoya's penalty miss, but I, I thought particularly in the first half he was – uh, leaps and bounds better than the performance against Vancouver. He was all over the field. He was on the ball a lot more. He was making key passes. Did you did you think his performance I, was much improved? I think when I was doing the live tweet, I said he was marauding out of, out of the midfield. Yeah. And I think he was. He was kind of coming out of that, we call it the number 10 slot that he's playing in right now and just getting in the box, putting pressure on the defense, getting on the ball, getting involved. And, you know, you, you kind of wonder what, what his role is. Is he playing more like a – withdrawn striker or is he playing more like a not traditional number 10 I mean I think they looked he looked more like a withdrawn striker a guy that like wants to attack you know get the ball on attack not so much spread the ball around which is fine if it fits into what's happening in a game it's fine if it works well, that was a, another really strong performance from uh, Derek Jones in the, the central midfield. Um, you know, I, th I thought he was he was a little bit more composed in the ball mm -hmm. than he was last week, and I thought he was in the right position almost every time. I mean, and, and going against a very tough Toronto midfield. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely a step up in competition for him against a, a Toronto midfield as opposed to Vancouver. And he, he is just really impressive. His strength is just amazing. I mean, he, he'll get on the ball, he kind of shrugs people off, or he draws a foul. Um, he's yeah, he's a little little smarter, a little calmer on the ball this week. I think that'll come. That comes with experience, that kind of stuff. But he just has all the physical attributes. Yeah. Um, 
Not a ton of chances for Toronto. Um, what did you think of the center back pairing again this week? You know, I, I think we're, we're specifically looking at Aguchi and Diego because we didn't know what we were going to mm -hmm. see from from Gucci coming in here after a couple of years layoff. I thought I thought you know he held his own. I think a lot calmer performance from Gucci. Yeah. Um, yeah, they didn't have a ton of uh, chances again. You know, they had the same issue the Union had. They lost their, one of their starting tr strikers, and Sebastian Dravanko went out in the first half. So that obviously changed what they were going to do a little bit, but. Uh, you know, w nobody said Gooch is a Richie's name a lot, which is good. I right. think. I think yeah. when when we go through a game like that, and you're not calling out the center backs too much. I think that's that's probably a good thing. Yeah. All right. I think we'll wrap up there. Um, Union travel to Orlando City next Saturday, mm -hmm. Saturday evening, uh, which I assume will be a warmer affair for everybody you involved. Think, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping that's the case. Um, we're back here, and I believe in two weeks april 8th april against 8th. portland there we go april 8th against portland uh look for us this wednesday on the kyw philly soccer show we'll be podcasting and saying stupid things <laughs> I don't know. um thanks for watching and we'll catch you in a couple weeks thanks a lot